Thank you. Hi, it's Tony. And Ann. From Lakes in the Woods Homestead. And this morning we're going to go ahead and milk our, uh, our dairy cow. And we thought we'd bring you along and show you how we get her done. So, um, over here we have a Melasti milker. It's electric powered and um, it has uh, the soft silicone tips on it uh, for her pleasure. <laughs> and it's a lot easier for her. And it's got the small entry because she has very small teats for a milk cow. Um, they also have the large ones that you can order and you can also use this for goats. So, um, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna, we're going to take you through the whole process here. First, I brush any debris that may be here, poop, um, anything else out. The whole udder. So, nothing gets in the milk. And just so you know, there's Skunk. Hey. He has to come see what we're doing. He's a P-I-H. Private Investigating Horse. <laughs> okay, now I take a warm rag. And I wash down her whole udder. She doesn't like that very much sometimes. Come on, girl. The horse is making her a little nervous. Come on. We wash down this whole udder, make sure that there's no contamination to the uh, to our milk because we do feed it back to calves. And of course we consume it ourselves and we make butter, feta cheese. Um, I also make ricotta. And I'm going to learn how to make uh, cheddar cheese and farmer's cheese. Okay, now that she's all dry and clean, I strip the teats three times each to make sure there's nothing up harboring inside the teat itself. Okay, now we're done with that. Now we start the machine. Tony gets two and I get two. And away it goes. This machine will have her milked in about three to five minutes. She stands real good for it. As you can see, we don't have to have her locked up, blocked up. Give her a little bit of breakfast and she's happy. As you can see, the milk's going up the tube and into the machine. And that's an eight-gallon stainless steel bucket.
going. And that is that. Okay, then I wash her off again. Strip her from milk. Make sure that there's nothing else in the teeth itself. Then I take the clean cloth and wash her off again so we don't get any mastitis. Go. There it is. And then I use an old fashioned remedy, good old bag bomb, to prevent any chapping or infection. Here, I get this thing taken care of. It's going. Okay. And as you can tell, I make sure that each teat. You're pointing at the ground. I make sure that each teat gets some to make sure that there's no infection and nothing can get in. And then she's all done. She's a good old girl. She's only a couple years old. We got her from a organic dairy. And she loves her food. There's our Daisy. And here is a hungry little guy, or a hungry little girl, and she's waiting for her bottle. And there's our skunkers. He's, he's being okay today. He wanted to eat with the cow. Come on, Hopi. Come on, Hopi. Come here, Hope. Come on, baby. And here she is all ready for it. She likes her breakfast. The other calf, the other uh, little calf, eats off Mama. But this one loves me and loves her bottle in the morning. Oh, I know, I know, right? She gets a little over anxious sometimes. It rained, it poured last night. So this is kind of a depression in the ground. So we gotta put some more shavings down. But hope he's a good girl. A little rambunctious, but what calf isn't? She loves her milk, and this is 100% real milk with the cream for her. That way she gets the antibodies that she needs. And Mama Daisy only wants to feed one, so this is what I do for the other. I turn the bottle a quarter, uh, a quarter turn uh, every little bit because that prevents a nipple from going flat and it gets air back into the bottle so it won't be sucking air and it won't go flat. Hi, Mama. What are you doing, Mama? Ah, Mama Daisy. Hey, stop. Mama.
No. You be nice. She got a case of milk face over here. And there's our boy, our girl. You drank it all. See? All gone. It's all gone, baby. It's okay. Oh, my. And there's our skunk again. He's a happy boy. He gets the leftovers. There's hubby bringing in the water for the calves. And there's Diamond and Lucy and Daisy and Angus. Happy little family. Hi, Angus. What you doing? Huh? Yeah, it's still blinking. Green? Yes. Yes, exactly what I'm. I know what I'm pointing at. Come on. There's still. This is our field for the cows. They got their ba big bale in the middle. They've been eating on that for about a week. And there's a, our baby. She just thinks she belongs to me today. She's a fat little thing now. Now, see, I told you the other calf eats off of mama. And she lets her. For the most part. Someday she gets frustrated like any other mother. Say, quit hanging on me. And there's, of course, Angus. And Diamond's hiding behind Mama Cow, Miss Daisy. Let me cut, take you around here. Oh, I know. You're a camera hog. And there's Diamond. Doesn't she have such a cute little face? She is a Dexter heifer, a short-legged Dexter heifer. And Angus is trying to love on Mama. He always wants to lick me. There he is. There's Hubby. Now, I'll turn you over to Hubby. All right, guys, so... With all that, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, showed you how we milk our daisy. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, I think we're going to end this one here. But, uh, if y'all would just uh, hit that like button if you liked what you saw. And for those of you who have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we make videos. I don't have much of a schedule going right now. Uh, we don't have a whole lot going on, but uh, we will be making more videos in the future. So take care. <laughs> Angus is messing with the camera. Take care. Um, 
Have a blessed week, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bless you. Peace.